go. Hey guys, Steve here, Synthro Tech, and um, we're gonna be doing another video here on how to incorporate our cut to length rails for your rack and for other synthesizer formats if you'd like. And we're gonna be showing you kind of how to put uh, another case together. Now I got this case, it's kind of a fun case. Um, it's, it's metallic. What is it made by? Let me see here. It is in Avian. Avian. I don't know if that's French. I don't know what it is, but it is. It was an indicator tester. But this is a pretty cool case, and I think I paid about five dollars for it. So you can find similar deals like that if you're looking around thrift stores or not. But this one's metal, and opens up like this. Now this case is a little bit. If you want to come a little closer, this case is a little bit unique and a little bit challenging, perhaps for being a DIY case. Now, what you could do is you could use our internal case brackets and measure across, and then of course it would tell you uh, minus the thickness of our internal case bracket uh, material, and then you'd be able to kind of figure out what the length is there and drill some holes and do that. But this case, because it has this like lip around here, I am going to be using our 19 inch style, of course they don't have to go to the 19 inch rack, but style um, uh, brackets here that normally go into some kind of a, a rack. So we've got two different kinds, of course, the internal case brackets, and then we have these ones as well. What do we call, what do we call these again? Right angle bracket. Right angle, right, and, and you know, it would, it would indicate, obviously, why the right angle bracket. So we're gonna do this, and basically I'm gonna line up two, excuse me, on each side, two of these, and then down below, we're gonna have two of the one inch right angle brackets. So it's easier this way because I can just place them a little bit in, cut my rail to length. And of course, you can do that on our website, of course, it's synthrotech.com, and you can actually get any length you'd like. And it's very easy to order. So the link will be in the description. So check that out. So I'm gonna use this, and then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting some screws, maybe some self-tapping screws. I'm not sure yet on which screws I need, but then I'm gonna tap them in here, and then that will place um, our rails in easily for two, six, or two, three U's equaling six, and then two, one U brackets. And then over here, I think what I'm gonna do, which is kind of fun, is we're gonna take this also cut to length rail and we're gonna place that in the back here. Wow, that is really tight. We'll see if it fits. Oh my goodness. This was expertly, perhaps perhaps expertly cut. And we're gonna put it in there, and then I'm gonna be using some of our cheapo cable hangers here that we also have a kit for this, if you wanna check it out on our site, and place it in here so that I'm able to use some slide nuts with a screw, place that in, screw something on the edge into the rail, a screw, and then this will be a place that I can actually hang my cables. So performance over here, cable holder over here with my patch cables, very convenient, will fold up nicely and be a little suitcase. And so if I'm feeling very uh, modern um, around the city, whatever I'd be doing or the countryside, I can carry this nice little case with me and um, have a pretty cheap rack based upon our Synthetech rails. So check it out, it's gonna be broken down for you step-by-step. Step. All right. So uh, came over here to one of our production desks and I am now gonna be assembling the rails, of course, into the red angle brackets and loading them up with some slide nuts first and also some three millimeter screws. If you're looking for hardware for um, your Eurorack case, of course, Synthrotech is the leader in the industry for this kind of DIY cut to length uh, stuff. And so we have all the screws you need. We got the slide nuts and we got nut strips. We got all kinds of things. Anyway, so I'm gonna start assembling this and they'll be done here in a second. I'll show you what I come up with. Um, okay, so what we kind of discovered here is that these little screws I had, they're not self tappers. And this steel over here, come check it out, is a little more, um, is a little harder than I thought it was. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our spring-loaded, uh, what do we call this? There's a word for it, a punch, that's right. And we're gonna just kind of mark, and there's a little bit of room here, which is nice, because even when we put that screw in, if we need to kind of move it back and forth so it's precise, we can do that afterwards. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna put in, 
Oh yeah. The spring loaded punch, got that from Tim Russell over at Circuit Abbey. And that is a game changer. And when we have those little punches, we can come in here with our, our little, I don't know what this is. This is a small, very small, but it'll work, I think, as long as I don't bend it too much. So we're gonna get in here and. Did I break that? Just I don't know if I did, but I broke through. And there is another, interesting, that whole punch did leave me with my marks, but those, man. Let's go over here now. Make sure I can see my marks. It's funny, that whole, oh, those are in the right spot. That's good. But this, this center punch, Gee, that did not leave much of a... Can we can we increase the tension on it? I don't know. But that was an idea. Whew. Sometimes that scares me a little bit. Okay. Well, the nice thing is that we have a little bit of room here, moving back and forth because our brackets have a little room. So we need to do that for all the brackets for this case. Um, I can't say I love that. Center tap might be easier. Let's get a little higher up here and see if we can see what I'm doing. So I have drilled my pilot holes and then this should work now. I mean, it should, let's get that up here like that. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we get this. Oh man, that is done properly let's come over here and we'll do this side oops let's tighten the tension on that because that's not working super well and we'll of course do that all the way down the line oh man well those are going to be in there quite nicely we don't have to really worry about that that one went in too. Okay, cool. So that's basically what we got going on. I might actually loosen them up and move it down just a little bit because um, I don't feel like they're exactly where I want them. I want this to be, to be flush. The person who cut these rails made them perfect. So because of that, we don't have a lot of room for error on this rail coming over. So. Tighten these up. I don't like that. Let's tighten these up. Okay. Okay. Well, those are in. Might raise up. I think I need to raise it up a little bit. Anyway, we're looking pretty good for a minute. We're going to get the rest of these in here. We're also going to get our pilot hole drilled for this guy over on the side. But first, I'm going to have some pizza and then I'll come find you in a few minutes. All right, back from that pizza, it was pretty good. Um, so I'm all energized and ready for the end of this video. So come over here and check out what we did. Um, we put in all of these right angle bracket ears into this case. And of course we showed you this lip right here. I drilled through that with a smaller uh, drill bit than this. Um, and then of course we, uh, just kind of secured it down with those little kind of sheet metal style screws. Anyway, was useful, but of course you could also drill out a hole and use a, a screw in a nut, which might actually be a little better or maybe a lock washer or something, but either which way it works really good. And, um, as you can see here as well, we put in this rail, as you can see with three of our little cable hanger PCBs that you can get on our side, as I mentioned. You can make something like this too, maybe drill a hole in here, put it into the side of a desk or something, and you might have um, something that you could use for that. So let me show you what I did here is I drilled a hole right on this side, and then of course, drill a hole over here and secured it down through the side of the rail. So now we've got kind of a fun case. And of course this case, like I said, was five bucks to me. Of course, we still gotta buy the hardware to get into it, but I think this is, you know, we could have gone the other direction on it, but I'm really glad we didn't because I think this is really useful for live performance. Look at this. 
And of course you can get SynthroTex patch cables. We got a lot of patch cables, various sizes. And we have, we have been doing this for many years and we try to get really nice patch cables. So we do that. Um, you know, I imagine it, it probably could be closed with the patch cables in there already. If you just want to have your, have your cables already. And I, you know, th the nice thing about this case is this, this lid was a little thick, right? So that allowed me to be able to kind of recess this and it's not going to bump up in to much of my module. I don't think here, um, <clears throat> haven't put any modules in yet, so we don't really know. Uh, but this right here, of course, and if you've got cables that are a little bit longer or something, you know, um, one of those tricks Tony Ronaldo showed me was, uh, you put it in like here and then you, uh, go up like this and boy, you're kind of set up for that. So you can, of course, now put a, put a power supply in. Of course, we make power supplies. We make distribution boards. You can kind of put that in yourself. If you want to get your own mean well or something, you can do that and kind of secure it in there. And then let's keep, let's keep putting these on here because I think this is actually a really fun little, little thing here. I'm going to go like this. Oh man. You know, I'll bet your cables are going to be held in by like modules too and something pretty easy. We can snap this and, um, man, doesn't that look kind of 1960s kind of fun? and you are ready for your gig or whatever in this kind of a case. Unique case, you're not gonna find a case like this always, but either which way, not too hard to put together with bracket ears. And now you have a neat little portable case ready to rock and um, you're saving a lot of money if you find something like that yourself. So why not? Anyway, thanks for checking it out. And again, if you need to get rails, rail ends, screws, modular little screws, slide nuts, nut strips, any of that, we got you covered. Thanks so much.